Welcome! This video will serve as a brief introduction to some of the commands and functionality of the FreeBSD operating system. We're going to cover some of the commands that a new user will need to initially start working with FreeBSD, as well as how to use the FreeBSD manual pages for more information. Start by logging into a user account. FreeBSD is configured to log users into the system console. You can actually open a virtual console using the F keys. Let's use F2 and then log into that console. I can switch back and forth using the F1 and F2 keys. Virtual consoles can be used to create the feeling of having multiple screens. And also, commands that have been entered on one console will continue to run even when the user switches to a different console. Now, let's try out the su command. This will emulate the super user or root. This will require the system password that was chosen during installation. You can use the exit command to stop emulating. But for right now, let's use su command and then add a user account with the command add user. Go through the process of adding the details just as you would have done during setup. As you can see, we already had a guest account, so I'll add guest2. I'm going to leave the rest of these options on the default. Add a new password, and then confirm that I want to add the account. I'm now going to remove the original guest account that we encountered with the rm user command. rm user guest. Make sure to also remove their home directory. The password command can be used to change a user's password. Let's use it here for the new guest2 account that we created. We can enter the new password. The pw command has multiple functions, but we're going to use it here to change the user's group. I'll use pw group mod wheel m and then guest2, and this will add the guest2 account to the wheel group. Now let's try some text editors. FreeBSD comes with a simple yet limited text editor, EE or Easy Editor. Let's use it to edit etc rc.conf. Once the command has been executed, the display will open and allow you to make changes to the chosen file. I can go in, remove a few extra lines, remove these three here, and then I'm going to add a test line. I can escape and save changes directly from the editor. FreeBSD also has a more advanced command, vi. We're going to use that now to edit the same file with vi slash etc slash rc.conf. In this editor, arrow keys can be used to navigate to the text file. Editing is done through a series of commands. For now, let's use dd to remove our test line. Hit escape before using, and then type dd. Changes can be saved by hitting escape, colon, wq, and then enter. VI has a ton of commands. So let's learn how to use the manual pages to find out more about the command. Use man vi to open the manual page. You can scroll through using the arrow keys to read about the vi command. Once you're done, quit by simply typing q. This can be used for a variety of different commands. We can also open the manual page for ls using man ls. If we use man-k, 
like this example, we can enter a keyword like mail to find the command that we are looking for. This will return a list of possible commands. Scrolling through the list, we can see that we are looking for send mail. So we can open that with man send mail and open the manual page. Using this new information, let's edit the etc rc.conf file. This file determines which services are to be started on boot. So we're going to use vi etc rc.conf to open up the vi editor. Move down to the bottom, and then we're going to add the following lines sshd underscore enable equals yes. Apache 24 underscore enable equals yes. And Apache 24 underscore flags equals dash DSSL. Once again, use escape colon WQ to quit and save your changes. Once a service has been enabled, it can be started without rebooting the system. Let's do it here for SSHD with service SSHD starts. However, it was already running on my system. And that's just a brief introduction to the FreeBSD operating system. Make sure to check out the other guides on this channel and the Foundation's website to learn more, including how to boot into a full desktop environment on FreeBSD.